everyone. Welcome to another CAD Cabin video. In this tutorial, we will be doing a two-story home similar to this image using our software. To start, draw the walls. Click on the wall tool icon, select the wall type from the catalog bar and use polygonal input method. You can just drag and drop walls or input wall length and press enter to end the wall. Draw the exterior wall first then interior wall partitions. For the interior walls, use interior wall type and select thickness. Here, you can identify your room requirements. Tip, use guidelines tool for wall alignments. Another shortcut, press Ctrl plus W to change wall axis, if you want the wall reference from the center, or from the inside or outside edge. Now, let's draw the garage and covered entry. As seen in the image, we can also draw wall cutouts for this covered entry. First, draw walls to complete a room. After that, click on the Windows icon, select Cutout then Rectangular Cutouts. We will use component options at the top bar to change the following values. Change the width of the cutout. Change the height value. Now change the sill height. Change the value to zero, as the cutout starts from the floor. Click close to apply the changes. We will now locate the cutouts to the room 8 walls. You can input free position or you can set a reference distance. To set a reference distance, choose window at set distance input then change the value in the tool options at the top bar. Select the side or edge where the reference is. By toggling to 3D furnishing mode, you can see that the cutouts are placed successfully. Now, let's add the other components. Position doors. Select door type and design from the catalog. You can freely position the door, or input reference distance. For the interior rooms, use interior doors and choose from the catalog options. Now, add all the windows to the plan. Choose window type from the catalog. Position windows by left clicking. Then, move cursor outside the plan to set the window opening to outward. Another left click to fix the window. You can either freely position the window by choosing free positioning input method, or set a distance from a reference point. You can also input windows at midway, just click on two reference points, in this case, the two walls. This software gives you the ability to choose from various design options from doors, windows, stair design up to roof and plan these components in a user-friendly interface. You now have a basic ground floor plan. Next, add stairs. By clicking on the stairs tool icon, several stair design options will appear on the catalog bar. We'll choose straight staircase design for this project. You can configure the design and dimensions in the stair tool options that will appear on the top bar. Click on the preferred stair locations until the length is set. 
This automatically assigns the number of steps. We are now done with the ground floor plan. Next, we'll add a first story plan. To add an upper floor, go to floors menu and select new upper floor, or you may select ground floor icon and select add new floor. A pop-up window will appear where you can set the upper floor height, ceiling thickness and floor thickness. Keep all floors visible and start drawing exterior walls. For this example we will just trace the ground floor exterior walls. Continue exterior and interior walls input of the interior areas. To inquire on this software and other CAD Cabin products, you can visit cadcabin.com. As you can see, I turned on all floors visible as guide for the next step. Click on the Balconies, Verandas and Platforms tool icon. This opens the catalog and select Balcony. Click on the corner to start drawing the balcony area and click to the next corner to close the balcony. Turn on Active Floor again to visibly see the created balcony. Add doors and windows in the first floor plan. You can always configure each doors or window selection. You can edit the overall height, width and other placement options. But all of the standard doors and windows are in the catalog. Just choose a design and drop the doors or windows in the plan. Place it by clicking on the location and another click to fix the opening position. Now, we'll add railings. Click on the balcony and select border object from the top bar. Check on show border object and select load object from the drop down. This will show the object catalog. Find handrails and choose object. This will automatically add the railing. Let's add the roof. In this image we can see that there are three levels of roof. 
a pent roof at the covered entry, and two levels of gable roof at the top. First, add an upper level which will be the attic of each roof. Select the floor's top bar menu and choose Add New Floor. Maintain the default values and press OK. Remember to select the active floor to make sure that you are editing on the correct floor. Now, add walls. Just trace the exterior wall perimeter. In this attic, you have the option to add stair and partitions. Once you have created the attic space and closed into a room, you can now insert roof. Select roof icon, then choose pent roof. After that, click on roof rectangle option. Then, click on the first corner of the wall and to opposite corner to end the roof input. Toggle 3D furnishing mode. As you may notice, the default overhang is on both sides. We just need one overhang as the roof ridge is directly into the wall. To edit the roof, select the roof and tool options will appear into the top bar. Select roof editor and select overhang menu at all adjustable. Overwrite the overhang on ridge and rear side to zero. Next, add the next roof. Select roof icon again and choose gable roof. Select rectangle option and start positioning the roof. Again, choose all adjustable overhang and edit rear overhang to zero. Now we'll set the roof height and pitch. Select the roof again and click roof editor. Click on the lower right roof icon. A section of the roof will appear. We should select jam wall height and edit the value to 1.2. This is the height that we want to raise the entire roof. And lastly, draw the final roof. These are two gables intersecting each other. Perform the same settings again from the previous roof. This time, the overhang should intersect the adjacent roof. Just edit the overhang value and the final roof is done. You are now done with your house plan. After this, you can also edit the materials and finishes. When in 3D furnishing mode, click on the material icon. A catalog of materials will be available. You can choose materials for walls, floors, roof and for all the other objects. To apply the materials, choose by clicking or inish from the catalog and click on the object. This changes its material. With this software you can not only produce floor plans but also, you can visualize your home exterior and interiors. With easy to use tools, you are now a step ahead of building your dream home.